The late Timothy Keller would often refer to two things that separate us from God. He said that a lot of us are separated because of our badness. And many, many others of us are separated from God because of our goodness. I think my story lines up with the latter. And it's a story about going home. I grew up on a farm in Indiana. And I've got great memories of my childhood. We would uh, attend church twice a year. And uh, whatever notion I had of God at the time, I felt like I was okay. Went on to college, four years, graduated with honors, and uh, then moved to uh, Southern Minnesota. I was engaged to my high school sweetheart, Deb, and we were married a year later after uh, she moved up to Minnesota. The year following was one where I saw Deb changing. I saw things in her that I thought were weird, but they were also good. I, I, I felt, even looking at Deb, that I didn't need God. God's for people who can't help themselves, but I'm able to help myself. I told Deb, you know, Deb, I, I gotta rediscover myself. I'm, I'm gonna get on the motorcycle, I'm gonna head back down to Indiana. I didn't intend to leave her permanently. She wasn't sure. But I just needed some time away to, to figure myself out. So here I am riding down the road, heading toward Indiana. I'm on I-35 going into Iowa. And then it starts to rain. And so finally, with the rain and everything going on, I pulled off on this country intersection out in the middle of Iowa. I took off my helmet. And I looked up and I had my first conversation with God. I said, I'm not running from Deb, am I? I'm running from you. I'm running from you. And with a profound sense that yes, Joe, that's what you're doing. I got on my bike, put my helmet on, started it up, pulled across the intersection and headed back north. Interestingly, 30 minutes later, the rain stopped. I was headed home. So I, I attend church with Deb, and the pastor's preaching. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is a free gift of God. Not by works, lest any man should boast. And suddenly, I felt just like I did on that intersection in Iowa. I was cold, I was separated, I was alone, and I was lost. And something in me started to melt like wax. And I can look back now and say, what was it? It was, it was a house of cards of my self-righteousness that was beginning to crumble. About a week later, the crumbling continued, and I got on my knees and I asked Jesus into my life. My story, I began it saying, this is a story about finding my way home. And in a very real sense, every step of my life up to this point has, has been a journey. And I like to think of it as the road home. And that, I'm still on that road. I'm still on that road. And what excites me most is that I know where that road leads. I know that I know that the best is yet to come. There may be some who, who are thinking that, wow, I'm too bad. I'm too bad to ever be a Christian. There may be others who are thinking, well, I'm, I'm good enough, you know, that I don't need Christ. I don't need God. And both of those lifestyles, both of those sets of assumptions lead to nothing but lostness, as I've discovered myself. Yeah. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life.